at Smokey. So I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what's been going on. Um, first of all, thank you for all the views on our first video and all the love that you guys have shared. You guys are awesome. We definitely didn't think that so many of you would actually watch a 17 minute video of us. So thank you. And we just really appreciate all of your encouraging words and everything. And um, yeah. So what I have been up to, let me kind of turn the camera so you can see. This is what I've been doing for the last couple hours. So I was given a list of all of our medications and a list of seven different pharmacies to call. So all of our medicine is paid out of pocket. Um, nothing is covered by insurance, which wonderful so um, that definitely needs to change probably not in our time but hopefully someday that'll change um, so anyway so I've been calling around just like getting price quotes on everything to see kind of what we can anticipate for just the medicine this isn't for IVF it's just for the medications that we have to have um, I will be doing four one two three yeah four different um, injections every day starting on the 11th and let me tell you they're not cheap and so we're trying to find um, just kind of what where we're going to be able to get the best deals um, we might be ordering from a couple different pharmacies so the problem that we have run into is Folistim, which is one of the shots that I need is currently on a shortage throughout the entire country so there's another brand, like same medicine, different brand, that we can use called Gonal F. Um, the problem with Gonal F is it's about $400 more per syringe than the Folistim. So that is pretty painful on our wallet. Um, so what I just did was applied for a program called Compassionate Care. It's for people who are having to pay for IVF out of pocket. Basically, they look at your household income and then based on that, they're able hopefully to provide us with a discount anywhere from 25% to 75%. So I just applied for that and we're really, fingers crossed, hoping that that will work um, and then we'll get at least a little bit of help on that medicine in particular. Um, so that's kind of where we stand with that. But aside from all of that, I was really thinking a lot just today on like how many people are working behind the scenes that don't even realize it to help us make this happen. Um, you know, of course we have our doctors and our nurses and our coordinators, um, who are rock stars and are totally helping us out. Um, and then, you know, John Daniel has been such a huge help to me and you know but there's so many other people who are really helping in ways that they don't even realize like today I had to go to the bank to pull out a whole bunch of money and I was kind of bouncing back and forth from tellers to bankers and they were having to like, you know, do different things for me. And this is also that we'll have the cash to fork over when the time comes to pay. And I was thinking like, and they kept asking, you know, what are you going to use all this money for? Are you going to buy something like super exciting? And I was like, well, hopefully we are using it for IVF. Um, and then of course they're excited. Oh my gosh, well, I hope it works. And lending that encouragement too so but like they're playing a really cool role in all of this and they don't even realize it um, so I thought that was pretty neat and then I in order to apply for this program I had to scan and email or upload um, all of our household income stuff and so I ran down to my district office here in town where that I work for and um, Sweet Noel in there was able to scan that for me and email it to me. And we had, you know, she had to do it a couple of times so that we could get it right. But it worked out. And gosh, I really hope it works. And thank you, Noel, so much for doing that for us. It means a whole lot. Like, you have no idea. And um, just, just like small people, like in our community who 
don't even realize like how much you're helping us in this whole process. Um, even as simple as just like saying, hey, we're rooting for you or praying for you. I know a lot of John's clients are very supportive of him and lend him a helping, you know, some advice or just encouraging words while he's at work and it just really means a lot. And um, yeah, so that's just kind of what was on my mind today. I'm just super grateful and excited. Like, you know, it's easy to get caught up in the numbers and figures and how much money this is. Um, but I am really thankful that I'm able to kind of look beyond that and be like, this is good. Like, this is a good thing that we're doing and hopefully the outcome is good and, you know, it's going to be okay. So, anyway, that's kind of where we stand. Um, we should know in a couple of days if we qualified for the um, discount. So, if you're saying any prayers, maybe throw that in there. Because um, that would be extremely, extremely helpful to us um, in this whole process. There's just so many things that you kind of like don't account for. And then, so it kind of slaps you in the face. But... It'll be worth it. Um, I got my hair cut and colored today. Thank you, Lynn. You did a great job. Same kind of thing with that. Like, I have been feeling like crap for so many days. So be able to go and get my hair done and kind of make myself look and feel like a semi-decent woman again makes my just makes me feel so good inside. So another person who's really helping throughout this whole journey. And, uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. Kept it short and sweet, and I hope you guys have a really good day. If we don't see you or post anything before um, the 4th of July weekend, be safe, and we're going to be celebrating with some family, so we're super excited for that. And I will talk to you later. Bye.